In this video, we're talking about how to apply the distance formula, distance equals rate times time, or D equals RT, to real world problems. And in this particular problem, we've been asked, how fast are you traveling if you can go 350 miles in seven hours? And at whatever speed that is, or whatever rate that is, how long will it take you to go 800 miles? So this is a problem you might actually wanna do in real life. If you're taking a road trip, for example, and you know that you've gone 350 miles and it's been seven hours, maybe you're curious, how long is it gonna take me if the total length of my trip is 800 miles at the current pace that I've been going? Well, you can use the distance formula to answer that question. In fact, the distance formula is the formula we use to describe rates like 60 miles an hour, or 100 miles an hour, or 25 miles an hour. And the reason is because this formula is distance equals rate times time. So distance is obviously how far you go, rate is how fast you go, and time is how long it takes you. And this equation is always true. If you multiply the pace or the speed at which you're going by the amount of time that you've been going, you get the amount of distance that you've gone. So what I can do is if I want to find speed or rate, I can divide both sides of this equation by t to get rate by itself. So this formula is the same as r equals d over t because I just divided both sides of the equation by t so I got r by itself and on the left hand side I got d over t. So when I say I'm traveling at 60 miles per hour I'm saying that my rate is equal to 60 and if I look at the right hand side here I can see distance on the top which could be miles and time on the bottom which could be hours so I'm really saying my rate is miles per hour. So that miles per hour ratio comes from this fraction distance over time the amount of distance you travel in a certain amount of time and that's the rate or the speed at which you're traveling. So that miles per hour figure comes from this formula right here. So we know we've gone 350 miles, that's our distance, we plug that in for D and that's going to be equal to rate times time. Well we don't know our rate, that's the speed, that's the unknown, but we know that the time has been seven hours so we're going to get R times seven when we plug seven in for time. Since the problem asks us how fast we're traveling, we need to solve for rate. So we're just gonna divide both sides of this equation by seven because when we do that, we'll get the seven in the numerator and denominator to cancel from the right-hand side, leaving us with just r, which is the rate or the speed. So then I'm gonna get rate is equal to 350 divided by seven, which happens to be 50. And so I can say that my rate is 50 miles per hour. Just make sure when you're doing these kind of problems that your units match the units you've been given in your problem. So we were told that we went 350 miles in seven hours, so we know that our rate is gonna be miles per hour. But sometimes the problem is gonna give you meters per minute or inches per second or whatever the case may be. Just make sure you have the correct units when you solve for the rate. So in our case, our rate is 50 miles per hour, that's our speed. So then the second half of the problem says, at that speed, how long will it take you to go 800 miles? So if our speed is 50 miles an hour, we can just plug this back into our distance formula along with 800 miles and find the time. So we know we need to go 800 miles. We plug that in for distance, D. So we have 800 is equal to rate times time. Well, we know that our rate is 50 miles per hour and the question asks us how long will it take you? So time is the unknown. So we leave time there so we get 800 is equal to 50t and now we just divide both sides of the equation by 50 in order to solve for t. We get 50 to cancel from the numerator and denominator on the right hand side and we're left with t is equal to 800 over 50. We can get rid of one of the zeros in each of these and turn this into 80 divided by 5 and of course 80 divided by 5 is 16 so we get time is equal to 16 hours is how long it's going to take us to travel 800 miles at 50 miles per hour.